What is up, everybody? This is Matthew with Roman 612 Ministries. It has been forever since I have put a video out for you guys. What's been up, guys? Hope y'all have been doing good, and I hope that, uh, you know, this freshly painted face is fantastic for you. And nice and pretty. <laughs> so a lot has been happening since the last time I got on here. We have a new president. We have President Trump in office. We got people calling for his impeachment. It's only been, what, not, not even a month after this guy's been in office. Every time I go on social media, the majority of comments that I see are pro-Trump or at least anti-Democrat. Um, they might not be pro-Trump, but they are most definitely not pro-socialism or whatever the heck those Democrats want to call themselves nowadays, Marxists, something like that. You know, they've got crazy names for pretty much everything. But I can tell you that they will call you several names that you will know. Bigot, racist, white supremacist. I mean, God forbid you are white in the United States because, whoo man... You racist guy? Yeah, you white man. You were born racist, isn't that great? And you should probably recognize that. So, now we have a white guy in office, and he's the leader of the KKK. Everybody wants to make him out to be this huge tyrant because they were told not to like him throughout the entire campaign because he said a lot of mean things. And let's just face it, Trump did say a lot of ridiculous stuff. Don't believe that this guy is Christian at all. Come on. I mean, let's let's face it. There is absolutely no way on the planet that this guy, Donald Trump, actually gave himself to Christ for us Christians to actually believe. And I know that because there are several instances in which, he, you know, he ever asked God for forgiveness and and uh, he skirted around it. If you don't believe me, you can look it up. Um, it's there. There's And the thing is too is he doesn't ever say anything about Christ. He always talks about God. God this, God that. One nation under God. God back in the White House. And the problem with that is, is well, the Bible tells us there are several different gods. Small g, gods. And, uh, well, he never mentions Christ at all. Eh, whatever. So anyway, this is a video that I wanted to put out about uh, Nancy Pelosi and Maxine Waters. I can't make this stuff up, guys. These people are the most idiotic people I've ever met in my entire life. And they are people that we have voted into office to run states. This is a ghost gun. To be in the Congress. Has ability with a 30 caliber clip. And the state said it. I just. To disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. I'm at a total loss here. Like, our Constitution of the United States means absolutely nothing because they keep just throwing stuff left and right. Cha, 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 cha. Ah, look. Unconstitutional. Oh, look at that. That's unconstitutional, too. I mean, er everything is unconstitutional? The problem is, is nobody knows what the Constitution says about anything anymore, so you can basically pretty much say anything you want to and then put the words unconstitutional right after it and everybody's going to believe it. Oh, that's so unconstitutional. Read the damn Constitution first before you start saying that it's unconstitutional. I have this right here. This is a copy of the Constitution. You see how long it isn't? It's not really that difficult to read. Including you guys on the right who kind of scream unconstitutional no <laughs> no you're wrong too look it up let's get to this shall we um, last week you said your greatest desire is to lead uh, donald trump right into impeachment i'm wondering why is it appropriate to call for the impeachment of the president less than a month after him taking office i have not called for the impeachment yet he's doing it himself <laughs> uh, so, okay first off She's lying. She did call for the impeachment of him. If they're the ones who came up with crooked Hillary, if they're the ones who came up with she's ill, something's wrong with her energy, and the way that he uh, basically, you know, described her in the campaign, I think that is something that would put the question squarely on the table whether or not he should be impeached. So anyway, all right, uh... Next. Um, let me just say that the statement I made was a statement in response to questions uh, and pleas that I'm getting from many citizens across this country. Uh, and those citizens that she's speaking of are your pink-haired feminists wearing 
vagina costumes and pasting extremely derogatory things on the backs of their children to protest against misogyny? I don't get it. I mean, they want to try to tell us about human decency and allowing people to be who they are, but they're going to dress up as gigantic sex organs with hair all over the place, and then they're going to put nasty, disgusting statements on the backs of their children and walk through Washington, D.C. and try to tell us that we're indecent? Are you serious? All right, so next. What are we going to do? How can a president... Uh, who is acting in the manner that he's acting, whether he's talking about the travel ban, the way that he's targeting Muslims, or whether he's talking about his relationship to Putin and the Kremlin. Okay, so for one, the way that he is acting, he's doing exactly what he said he was going to do. He's doing exactly what we asked him to do. I mean, the people of this country actually put him in office. We voted him in. I mean, if they did not want him in office, they could have rigged something up to make sure that he didn't get office. But oh, wait! The Russians! Are you serious? The most narcissistic person on the entire freaking planet, and they wanted him in office? Think about what you're saying. Second of all, attacking Muslims. Yes! Yes, attacking Muslims. Yes, that's exactly what we are doing. He is stating what is happening all over the world right now. What's happening all over the world is complete and total freaking chaos in the Western societies. It's everywhere. Sweden is in complete disarray. Sweden is now grappling with communities of disaffected migrants who can't find jobs and have few prospects. The country's image was shattered three years ago when riots broke out in the Stockholm suburb of Husby. Germany in complete disarray. The UK is going nuts over what exactly is happening right now because the Muslim population of refugees that they have allowed to come into their countries is destroying Western culture as we know it. And people like this woman are advocating for that to happen. Right now, as we speak, New York is putting through legislation to make New York State itself a sanctuary state. And when that happens... You can be damn sure that that is going to happen in New York. We have YouTube. You have the biggest informational conglomeration put together, and you can't even use it. You won't use it properly. People like this woman say stupid stuff like this. And knowing that they have hacked our um, DCCC and uh, DNC, and um, knowing that uh, he is responsible for supplying the bombs uh, that killed innocent children and families in, um, in, um, yeah, in Aleppo. <laughs> Wait, the bombs that killed innocent children. And then she stumbles, and then somebody has to say Aleppo. Okay, he's the president of the United States of America. He is in charge with our safety and upholding the Constitution of the United States. That's what he is here to do. Okay, yes! He bombed a war-torn city that was home to our number one enemy right now, ISIS. But never mind the entire chaos and drone strikes that your beloved President Obama did. Or even Bush, or Clinton, or Bush before that, or Reagan, or every single president that has been in the United States. But because it's Donald Trump, who took care of a problem that we were having, now all of a sudden it's a detriment to society. But you didn't give a shnikes about that six months ago when they completely demolished Damascus, did you? And you people who are out there who are defending this position, you're brainwashed. You're idiots. You are complete morons. But he's not doing anything unconstitutional right now. He's really not. 
He's actually leading us in the path that we actually need to go, which you liberals were crying about when Bush was bombing Iraq. Take everybody home. We need to take care of ourselves before we take care of them. We need to take care of ourselves before we take care of them. And now all of a sudden you're advocating that we can't do that? What the hell is wrong with you people? Seriously. Anyway, next statement. And the fact that uh, he is wrapping his arms around Putin uh, while uh, Putin is continuing uh, to advance uh, into Korea. Uh, I think that this woman just said Korea. <laughs> I can't believe this, guys. Seriously, Putin going into Korea. Doesn't she mean Crimea or Ukraine? This is a woman that y'all elected. She doesn't even know what the hell is going on. She has absolutely no clue about what is happening in the United States or the world right now. And you are going to listen to her? There are now 55 declared no-go zones in Sweden. The police have to escort ambulances to ensure their safety. People like me, who actually do research, who look things up, who actually search in different directions, who stand pretty much center on the whole political spectrum and trying to tell me that Trump is a danger because he's rubbing elbows with Putin? He's the exact opposite of everything that the swamp in Washington, D.C. wants, and that's why they hate the guy. It's a fact that Trump is a detriment to their way of life. The people who you are saying control you and who are pulling the strings are the same people who are saying Donald Trump is a detriment to you. Trump can't stand the way that this country is run. Washington, D.C. is disgusting. He is leading himself into that kind of position where folks will begin to ask, what are we going to do? And the answer is going to be, eventually, we've got to do something about him. We cannot continue uh, to have a president who's acting in this manner. It is dangerous to the United States of America. Now, let's put it to you this way. It's dangerous to the United States of America. But the problem is, is that they are, there are riots everywhere in the United States right now. Riots. These are not protests. These are riots. See, protests are like what happened on the Women's March. You know, as much as I like making fun of those guys, they were actually 99% yeah, peaceful. UC Berkeley was not a protest. Ferguson has not been a protest. All these protests at the airports are not protests. These people are violent rioters. They are creating chaos. And this woman is advocating for that chaos. We've got to do something about him. He's not doing anything wrong. You should be doing something about the people who are rioting, burning cars, smashing windows, and being extremely violent towards people who have a certain political belief. You are beating and destroying people who have a certain thought in their head. I can't believe that we have reached this point in this, in this country. Well, the conservatives are sitting back like this. They're waiting. People like me are just waiting. Waiting for the crap to jump. Realize that we want the best for this country. We really want the best for the United States of America and the rest of the world. Next. Absolutely love Nancy Pelosi. How can you not love her? For real. She's like that old grandmother. While it's only a couple of weeks since the inauguration, there's complete evidence. There's practice. We've seen nothing that we can work that I can work with President Bush on, and I'm disappointed because I thought... Wait. <laughs> she... <laughs> I can't make this stuff up, folks. Like... <sighs> oh, my God. Dude, President Bush... She's living 12 years ago in her mind. Dementia. Somebody please get her another whiskey and Coke. My God, her brain is fried. It's gone. And this woman, President Bush. It was really funny. Is you, you look at Waters in the background. Because I thought that there might be some interest because of what he said in the campaign, which turns out to be not true, a hoax and really dangerous to the economic stability of America's working families. Do any of my...
The economic stability of the working family. This woman wouldn't know true economics if it smacked her in the freaking face. Listen, guys. There is so much going on right now. So much crap. So much falsehood pushed your way. You got Google changing definitions of words. You have Facebook, who is putting out a fake news filter. How do you do that? Like, would I be considered fake news because I'm just sitting here talking to you guys about what's happening? I mean... Would you guys shut me down because of that? Oh, good God. You guys got to stop your whining and crying and moaning and complaining. And actually look what's happening right now. What's actually happening right now is we have somebody in office who really looks like they actually want to care about us. And he's doing exactly what he said. And no, it is not a freaking Muslim ban. But so what if it was a Muslim ban? That's a very difficult situation for me to handle. And I don't think that I should be making that, but I wouldn't be too heartbroken. There's no need to be unkind. No, hey, 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 son. Don't, no, don't, no, do no, don't do it. Hey, 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 hey. The gang's attention turns when a local intervenes and drives his mobility scooter into the most violent attack. That's what's going to happen here in the country if we don't pull our heads out of our rear ends. Stop making irrational decisions based off of emotion and you start making actual logical rational decisions based off of facts and what is actually happening around you that's the only way we're going to beat this guys it's the only way we are ever going to be able to come out on top and the only way we're ever going to be able to silence these idiots who think that they know everything out there i mean you know i just i feel really bad for them i feel sorry that they are actually this stupid i, I really do all right guys well I hope you guys liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe if you can. I will be back with another video soon.